coming up in Ms. Tastic. anytime hundreds of different art lessons directly to your home perfect for families and classrooms hi my friends today we're going to be learning about and making art for burgers and fries yes art for burgers and fries now hamburgers weren't always around they were actually inspired from uh, and well and came from the German word Hamburg um, coming from the their Hamburg steaks that German immigrants brought over to North America so people enjoyed the Hamburg steaks and then eventually those Hamburg steaks turned into the hamburger um, a more of a North American tradition and the hamburger didn't really become popular until the 1904 World Fair and St. Louis World Fair. So it is pretty cool. Hamburgers, oh my goodness. Now there are lots of different ways to enjoy hamburgers. If you go to different hamburger places or burger joints, you might see lots of different flavors to choose from with all kinds of toppings from mushrooms to pineapple to maybe something spicy like jalapeno. If you just want a simple cheeseburger or maybe you want a veggie burger. Now there are lots of different ways to enjoy hamburgers. Now, if you love hamburgers, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up so we can see how many people are super awesome hamburger fans. Boof, boof. Also, the best thing to pair with a hamburger, well, it could be that you have coleslaw, that you can have that, but you might want to have fries and ketchup to dip it, or maybe you dip it in mayo. It's really up to you. Or you can even put vinegar, malt vinegar on your fries, unless you call them chips. Then you call them chips, fries, chips, whatever you like. All right, let's head on over to the art studio where we're going to draw a big burger and also, ha, <laughs> I forget, also make a fries or chips painting. Let's make some art. Let's make our burger. All right, big burger, here we go. We'll make two lines. It's supposed to be the top bun and the top and the lower bun. Curving lines below. This one be smaller. Make this one big. It's a big burger. Add your protein, whether it's a veggie burger, bean burger, chicken burger, fish burger, beef burger, whatever it is, add your protein. Okay, let's add some lettuce, you know, whatever toppings you want. Add some lettuce with some zigzag. Build your double lettuce layers. I'm gonna add some tomato, but you can add, turn those ovals into pickles. I'm gonna add a cheese layer here. Maybe I'll add another cheese layer, like a double cheese, double lettuce. I think it should be their tomatoes or pickles. We'll add some texture on your, some squiggle lines on the protein. Are there fish burgers? I'm not even sure. Maybe that's not a thing. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. See, just 
layering my squiggles and that makes it look like it has a nice texture, eh? Cool, right? Okay, let us, let's add some lines for texture. That looks pretty good. I probably wanna eat a burger. Okay, let's add better sesame, uh, sesame seeds. I almost said sesame street. <laughs> I have to admit, I love sesame street. It's my favorite. I will never, I think I've watched that since I was like two. I love it so much. It is my absolute favorite. Must be a dream to go to sesame street in life. I think my dreams would all come true if I went to Sesame Street. <laughs> Making some art with uh, Elmo and Oscar. All right. Now I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna leave it like this or if I'm gonna add a face. But I think I might actually not add a face on this one. So maybe I'll add some more, some more sesame seeds from Sesame Street. I wonder why it's called Sesame Street. I never looked. It's a good wonder. I'm gonna look it up right now. So you can catch up on that. Why is Sesame Street called Sesame Street? All right, so Sesame Street was almost named 123 Avenue B, but then they changed it. So the word Sesame came from the phrase open Sesame, which gives the idea of a street where neat stuff happens. Oh, that's cool. And it's a fictional street located in Manhattan in New York City. That's cool. <coughs> Let's add some bun texture along the bottom here. Just a little dashed. And along the bottom, at the top. All right, that looks pretty cool. We got some good line design in here, helping us create texture. So if you followed me and my Elements of Art lessons, you'll know that we can create texture with line on a flat two-dimensional surface, so it's an implied texture. We got some good texture in here. I'm pretty excited about it. All right, so grab your choice colors and let's color it in. <laughs> Trying to figure out a nice bun color. Mm, might have to layer it. What if I do this? And what if I put yellow on top? I think I'm gonna do that. I don't have a bun color, so I have to make one up by blending colors. So I'm gonna do this color first. Okay, now, do I want to do this yellow, or do I want to do the light yellow? 
Mm, that's too yellow. Okay. Mm, I'm gonna get lighter yellow. Let's try this yellow on top. Yeah, let's try this. Anything yellow. I mean, you can layer your pencil crayons. You can layer your wax crayons. You might have more options though for colors in wax crayons. Wax crayons and come in lots of different colors, so you might have a good fun color and you might not have to blend anything. But honestly, this really makes me want to get a veggie burger. Mmm. So good. That looks cool. Cool, cool, cool. Looks like a bun color. What else? Yeah, protein. Yes. I'm gonna have to layer my browns because this one's good gone. Okay. So I don't get worried if something runs out. See, now I can just layer. Layer my mediums, and that's going to add some variety to awesome areas that are dark, areas that are not dark, which should make sense, right? Because when I look at something, it's not all one color. Look at your hand; it has lots of different different colors and variations going on. Light areas, this area is more red, so lots of different things. Okay, I'm going to have cheddar cheese, so I'm going to do yellow. I mean orange cheese. Okay, got my double lettuce layer. It's a big burger. Now you can either color these green if you want them to be, well, you can have them white if you want them to be onions, with like rings. You could add, turn these into tomatoes. You can turn them into pickle slices, whatever you want. Maybe it's pineapple rings, if you like pineapple. In your burger. And just like that, your big burger is done. Unless you want to color. <laughs> uh, unless you want to turn these yellow. So it depends on if you want yellow on your sesame seeds. This is just if you want to add another detail. I was just looking at them and I was about to end and I thought, oh, well maybe we could add a yellow. A little bit of yellow. Okay, then your burger is done. Okay, we are going to make some fries for our work because if you have a burger, you gotta have some fries. I need my wax crayon, here we go. Okay, <sighs> two diagonal lines. We gotta make a box, black wax crayon. Okay, tatchy tatchy at the bottom. And then we're going to just shade the bottom and sides. Most of that will be hidden. I want you to put your letter, your initial in the center for the logo. So if your name starts with a K, put a K here. If your name starts with Z, put a Z there. If your name starts with M, like mine's Ms. Artastic. So I'm gonna put an A for Artastic. Put that in yours, but you put whatever letter you have. Okay, cross at the top. Remember, we gotta have sound effects when we make art. Okay, let's add some fries. We're gonna add some rectangles. Now we're going to add some in between. Right 
fries. And then have some layered above. Just little ones peeking out. Boom! Check it out. Divide your background up into some stripes. Check that out. Okay, let's paint our fries yellow first. And you can see that lovely black peeks out below. Now I'm painting with some uh, just some dollar store temper paint, but you can use whatever you want to paint with, like watercolor. Paint your box a choice color. I'm just dipping some water in the well, I'm dipping my brush in water. And just like that, your fries are done. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode. If you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun, please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel. If you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and take me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.